Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, AKA Ivy Crazy, and this is How to Be Successful in FPV, Part 5, The Ground Station. As you look around, you'll see that there's a lot of emphasis on what systems go on the airplane. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of emphasis on what goes on the ground. Believe it or not, what goes on the ground is a lot more critical than what you've got in the sky. That might seem counterintuitive, but the receiver station is much more critical than the aircraft flying around. So what types of stations are there? What can I choose? Well, you've got two choices when it comes to viewing screens. So you have things like goggles. These fit nicely on your head, black out the world around you, launch, and I'm ready to fly. These, of course, are just an ugly hacked set, but they come in a nice compact set like these, the Fat Sharks. If you're afraid you'll lose your balance or you just prefer a TV screen, well, why not? Just use a TV screen. Build a little enclosure around it to keep the sunlight out and you're ready to go. Nice thing about a TV screen, all you have to do is look down after launch. So what else is there to a ground station? Well, now you need to figure out what type of ground station you want. You've already chosen goggles or a screen. So there's the head mounted ground station. Very simple. A set of goggles with a receiver and an antenna on your head. There's nothing simpler than this. Great thing is this, this is my grab and go station. Grab it out of the toolbox, I'm ready to fly. And of course, you don't have to build your own. Fat Sharks and Foxtech AIO all in one. So you don't have to look like a complete idiot like I do when you're out there flying. Now, just because you're flying with an antenna system with a ground station mounted straight on your head, that doesn't mean you can't use directional antenna. The great thing about this is I can turn my head, automatic antenna tracker. Okay? Not too bad. Would not recommend this system for a beginner. But when you're ready to advance, screw a different antenna on it and you're ready to go. The second most common ground station out there is the tripod station, like this. This one happens to be dual band, okay? The nice thing about a tripod station is you get your antenna nice and up in the air, off the ground where it belongs, and then you can mount anything you want to the back of it. In this case, I actually have two different antennas on my tripod. I have my 1.3 gigahertz and 2.3 gigahertz. So if I'm flying with a friend who's on 1.3, I can change channels to 2.3 and we can have a good time together. The great thing about a tripod, again, everything you can mount to the back of it. You see, you have not one, two, but three receivers mounted to the back of this. I have a, a voltmeter to monitor my voltage. I can plug, put my Velcro my recorder right there, or I can use a repeater a little 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter to repeat right back to my goggles and I'm completely wireless. So there's no worry about me pulling a cable and knocking my ground station over. The tripod mounted station is generally regarded as the most efficient ground station. The problem is the setup time. It takes time to break it out of your, to take it out of your car, open it up, set it up and aim it. You know, it also takes time to pack it up and load it back into your car. So if you're not into the setup time, this might not be for you. However, there is one more type of ground station out there, and that is the satchel or backpack mounted ground station. This is my satchel mounted ground station. Basically, I have my entire ground station mounted in a bag at my side at all times. The nice thing about this station is it's very portable, just like the all-in-one station. I have no wires to trip over. All I do, launch, pull down the goggles, and I'm ready to fly. The interesting thing about this station is what's inside. Again, dual band, just like my tripod system, except now it's portable. No wires to trip over, quick setup time, and I'm ready to go. The problem with this system is the antennas are mounted very, very low. And also your body blocks a signal behind you. So this, you're not going to be able to fi fly nearly as far behind you. So if you intend to fly behind you, make a quick turnaround so you can catch your, catch your video without too much video breakup. Can you fly behind yourself? Sure, just don't go far. 
The great thing about this is you get almost the same range as your tripod, but with a lot more portability and less than half the setup time. Here's the other nice thing about it. Just like the tripod, you can choose whatever set of goggles you want. In this case, I modded mine into a set of ski goggles. Whatever goggles you want. The other great thing about the satchel mounted system, you can just carry it with you. Here's everything I need to fly. Spare batteries in the bag and I'm ready to go. This is it. This is also great for those local parks where you've got lots of inquisitive you know, inquisitive people, hey, what is that that you're doing? And they tend to want to do things like touch your antenna or wiggle your tripod. Don't believe it? Go to a local park and see what happens. So if you're gonna fly around with a lot of people around who might be inquisitive, the nice thing about this, it's nice and covert. It doesn't necessarily no let everybody know, hey, there's a video pilot over there. So it's kind of a nice, easy way to sneak in without drawing a whole lot of attention to yourself. However, when you drop the goggles down, you are gonna look mighty strange. So which ground station is right for you? Well, that's up to you. If you're only concerned with flying near yourself, antenna on your head, nothing to it. Go have a blast. Good for close in range, doesn't quite have the punch through objects or anything. Really simple, easy setup time, but again, it's probably the lowest performance. There's the high performance tripod that has everything, you can mount everything to the back of it, but then you've got the setup time and you have the potential for people to mess with it or the wind to knock it over. And then there's the middle of the road, there's a satchel mount. Nice, compact, you can take it with you, capable of fairly long range, maybe not quite as far as a tripod, but very close. And you can take it with you very easily, nice and portable, but not quite as simple as the heads on, head mounted ground station. Again, the choice is up to you. But anyway, set it up wisely and you'll have a good time with it. This has been an IB Crazy tutorial. Keep your wings in the sky.